The first of two meetings in a month for Cavalry and York United begins today here in Calgary, Alberta. It is match number 81 of the CPL's regular season, the end of match week 19. And to the teams, we'll begin with Tommy Wheeldon Jr.'s side playing in a 3-4-3 in attack today with four changes, including Callum Montgomery making just his second CPL start of the season and the first since the beginning of it, returning from plantar fasciitis. Martin Ash will be hoping the goals continue. Three changes to this team, and he doesn't touch that attack for good reason. Roger Thompson is back in at center back. Trevina Spree, the young man out of Scarborough, Ontario, will start to have right back. Underway in from Calgary with York United working from left to right on your screen in this first half towards the south end of the stadium and the skipper's goal that is Marco Carducci for Cavalry in the red tops, black shorts and red socks. They'll be working from right to left towards the north end of the ground and Nico Giantsopoulos is net in half number one. Adam Jenkins and Oliver Black in the one soccer broadcast booth with you. Oliver, good afternoon. Am I overselling this or will there be some goals today? I'm hoping so, Adam, and we... <laughs> 34 seconds into the game, Ali Moosey, a header from the penalty spot. Coming into the crystal ball, Ali. I love when they make the announcer look good, and speaking of looking good, what a header that is, and a slip at the wheel to start this match, the nine stripes starting on the back foot in the big way. Well, I didn't even need to get a thought out there, Ali Moosey's <laughs> taking care of it for me. Look, I think this is always going to be the concern for York United coming to a place like Cavalry is can you manage the threat that they pose? Ferrari. Buy some time on air to relentless defensive pressure from Cobzell. Take the ball right back for the Cavs, but that isn't going to help. Shane Schoen loses his footing. York back the other way with numbers. Babouli thinking about it. It's a one-man wall. Come on by and staring down. Fraser aired into the box. A deep ball, three header. But offside as the rookie jumps a little bit early. Weaves around. Trafford closing down on Gunnell operating. Pass goes back. Kicks. Wasteful. You can see the heads making him eligible for the next game against Vancouver on Friday. Lucy. Lucy into the box. And brought a collapse. Lucy. Right to Giant Sopolis. Gets both gloves to it. Here's Shamit Shown. Bit of a desperate but a perfectly timed slide. Snuffs out the attack. He really committed to that considering he is on a yellow card. Bevin. Meyer Bevin. Definitely had a better option. Henri was in a clear channel. that for you. No team, no road team that is, has won this season the CPL in the trail half time. Accio driving into Flex, and that's a third goal in just two games. He can flip today. And Willie Accio is absolutely loving his time with his hometown club. Exceptional. And another early goal, maybe a dagger, so early in this second half. Goodness, does he ever love that cut to the middle? And Martin Ash can only shake his head in disbelief. It's the sixth caution of the season for Mobile Bull. He was also served a red card suspension this year. Here's Ali Mosi in the penalty area. Giant Sopolis with a nice dive. He had a good Mobile Bully esque 
10 to 15 minutes, and from there, only been good enough. Santos extends this play right, leaves it for Mabui. Mabui, and he slams that just under the crossbar. That gives York United some life, a big boost, and by his second of the season. Cavalry started to slide, nobody picked up the winger. And an emphatic finish to make this a one goal contest. Once again, Cavalry having established the two-goal leads, now have a bit of pressure on them. Pacquiao gets jammed. Straight from Abane, but since Cavalry still in possession, Camargo with a one for Moosey. Moosey on a brace watch. Can't pick his corner. York United looking for a third straight multi-goal draw. Pabuli plays it in. Kicks it away, Gareth Smith to all sprinting. It's a test of what's in the reserves. Jesse Daly is irate saying play the advantage. And a straight right is going to be shown to Carson Bushman Dorman for denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity in the eyes of the referee. That certainly won't help York's U21 Canadian minutes as the rookie is sent off in just his second appearance for the club. The full-time whistles underneath the blow as we take a look. The referee also says full-time. Martin Nash is going to go to the middle, and he might be joined by a few teammates and White.